Hey everybody, it's Rich Brooks from Flight New Media. We're a web design and internet marketing company. One of the important things with any website or internet marketing campaign is to measure it. Find out how people found your website and what their behavior was once they got there. And here at Flight, we use and we recommend Google Analytics. One of the problems, however, is if you're like me, you're constantly checking your website, making sure it says what you want it to say, and that there are no mistakes on it, or copying and pasting a URL and sending it off to people. Unfortunately, that behavior can be problematic because it can skew your results at Google Analytics. Luckily, Google gives us some opportunity to set up filters to minimize that effect. And let's take a look at how to set up those filters so your internal traffic doesn't mess with your traffic reports. Once you get to your overview page, you're going to see all the different uh, URLs you might be tracking. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, in the right-hand corner, you'll see Filter Manager. Go ahead and click on that. To add a filter, you just need to click on Add Filter, pretty self-explanatory, and then you put in an address. The easiest way to do this is to have a static IP address and then just type that in. Let's say that ours is 123.45.678.9. Just make sure that you have selected exclude all traffic from an IP address. And then you need to type in the IP address with some escape characters. So this particular IP address would be written 123 backward slash, and yes that is a backward slash, dot four five backward slash dot six seven eight backward slash dot nine. Then you can go down and choose any or all of the different URLs you have that you want to filter that traffic for. Click on add and go ahead and hit save changes. And that's all it takes. Now, if you have a range of static IP addresses or if you have dynamic IP addresses, it becomes a little more tricky to filter out your own traffic, but not impossible. Google's, Google Analytics uh, help section has good information on how to set up those type of filters, and we've put some of that information at our own blog at flightblog.com. Again, this is Rich Brooks from Flight New Media. If you have any questions on how to set up Google Analytics or how to get the most of it or to do any kind of web marketing to drive more traffic to your website, feel free to check out our website and contact us, and that's at flight.biz, F-L-Y-T-E dot B-I-Z. Thanks.